Welcome friends, uh, in this session we will study how the remote position indication works and how the flicker relay is working and how the control discrepancy switch is working. So first of all this switch is called as a discrepancy switch. So let's see at the end of the drawing. So here you can see, if you see the control panel you will find these switches. Uh, this is showing basically the switch for art switch and there is a light in this switches which is called as a flickering light and this is the basically switch for the circuit breaker this is the switch for the bus bar isolator and here we have three art switches and this is the line isolator so we have uh, discrepancy switches so it is called a discrepancy switch because it is showing a discrepancy between the position of the switch and the actual status of the breaker. For example, this is the discrepancy switch for the circuit breaker and if and this is showing the circuit breaker is currently at off position. So when this line is in parallel with the line of the base, the breaker is considered as close when the line is in a position or perpendicular to the B line it is considered as open so the selector switch or discrepancy switch uh, at this position is in open position now if the breaker is also in the open position there will be no light here thus there will be zero light or no light uh, in the background of the switch but when as soon as if the breaker is kilo, uh, in, in the yard is in closed position and switch is in open position then there will be a flickering light so for example if of, uh, of operator uh, close the bre uh, breaker okay and uh, it trips because of any protection then the operator can see that the, the breaker switch is now doing the flickering so whenever there is a difference between the status of the control discrepancy switch and the actual status of the specific uh, equipment like breaker or isolator, the flickering will start. And when the status of both equipments are matching, the flickering will stop. So this switch is basically used to find discrepancy between the position of the switch control switch and the site equipment so its name as a discrepancy switch okay now we'll go back to the circuit and i will try to explain that how this circuit is working so let's go back so here we can see uh, i will show you one diagram so the other diagrams uh, are same so if you understand the logic of one circuit you will be able to understand the logic of all circuits so here you can see we have status of here 132 kv circuit breaker open and close and you can see it is for e01 plus q0 this is a stuff circuit breaker so we will see how it works with a flicker relay so positive is going from this is control supply going from x310 coming to lcc this is the normally closed contact of the breaker and this is the normally open contact of the breaker so at present in the drawing breaker is shown in off position so these are the status of the breaker and further it's coming to the selector switch or the pole discrepancy switch so the discrepancy switch here is also in off position so you can see if the switch is in off position then the supply will be coming from x uh, d q a 121 to 22 and then x c 25 switch is in this position so supply will be disconnected and take a, a k time will not energize 
so let's see now that in the second case if we consider the breaker is in opposition whereas the discrepancy switch is in on position so we will see how it look like so here you can see the breaker is in off position and if for example if the discrepancy switch uh, is in on position then this knob this selector switch will be here in on position you can see this is on position number 3 so it will be here so it means at side breaker is off but our selector switch we are keeping at off position so it means that there is a discrepancy there is a difference between the position of the actual position of the circuit breaker and the position of selector uh, position of discrepancy switch so in this case light should be on so the k10 will energize the k10 contactor will pick up and when it will pick up its two contact 32.1 and 31.1 will be picked up so 9 and 5 uh, will be closed because it's picked up and 10 and 6 will be closed the contact will change position from 1 to 5 and 2 to 6 so let's see what will happen one thing we have understand here that if there is a difference between the position of breaker itself from the yard and the discrepancy switch the contactor is picked up when it's picked up its two contact will change its status so we will go to sheet number 31 first to see what's happening here so this is sheet 31 so here you can see the contactor k1 after it is shown in off position when it's picked up 6 and 10 will close then c plus or power control supply will is coming through k10 contact 6 and it will pass to 10 and then you can say k50 relay will be energized and k50 relay here is basically it's a flicker relay so now we can see how when the status of breaker is actual status is different than the discrepancy switch status a flicker relay is now energized so when flicker relay is energized we will go to sheet 22 the next contact of k50 so the supply is coming again uh, through flicker flicker relay contact which is k50 so what this relay is doing here uh, it's giving pulses flicker relay is giving pulses on and off continuous pulses in shape of flicker you can see this contact k50 is providing this flicker operation and when k10 because it's now picked up so what will happen this light will be continuously on and off on and off on and off this is the light which is basically inside the discrepancy switch of the circuit breaker so this is uh, cds lamp as not k10 has been picked up so in the same way if you see the same function in the same way other lights uh, will also work so k in the same way if there is a discrepancy between bus bar isolator status in the yard and the discrepancy switch on the control panel the k11 will pick up k11 when picked up it will energize the flicker relay flicker relay will provide flickering supply and here you can see k11 is picked up it will energize s1 so it will provide light to this discrepancy switch s1 so this is s1 this is s0 so this light here you can see s1 is installed inside the control switch s1 so in the same way if you see you can track yourself there are more indication in the drawing that you can understand and learn yourself or for a line isolator or switch 
132 kV and we have another switch we have another isolator and at the end they have also installed a counter inside the mimic uh, or control panel whenever the breaker is closed this counter will be uh, uh, working so it's showing total number of operation of the circuit breaker so this is the circuit of liquor relay next uh, lecture will be related to interlocking of circuit breaker plus power pt and mcb trip so thank you very much for the lecture thank you